Connor and welcome to SAT Math question 67 here on Wagner Academy. This one says f of w equals the absolute value of the quantity 28 minus w squared where w is a positive integer. That sounds pretty important to me right there. It's going to be a positive integer. If f of w equals 21, what is the value of that? That, that doesn't sound right. What is the value of that? Satisfies the equation above. So, yeah, this was a mistake. Hey, go away. This was a mistake on the, the SATmath.com website. So, what is the value grammatical mistake? What is the value that satisfies the equation above? That makes more sense. So, we've got f of w being 21. I can replace f of w then, right here, with that value, with 21. So, I could rewrite this function like this to be able to solve for w. 21 equals the quantity, the absolute value of the quantity 28 minus w squared. Now, this value, whatever's inside the absolute value, I should re, I should adjust what I'm circling here. So this part, whatever's inside the absolute value, this could be either positive 21 or negative 21 altogether after I'm subtracting w squared. So, with that in mind, and with this, this idea in mind that w is a positive integer, we can check out some, some things here. So we've got w squared. This would, to make this, to make it 21 inside here, this number would have to be seven. And there's no number squared, no positive integer number at least squared that equals seven. So I'm saying 21 is not going to work out. So negative 21, how could I get negative 21 from 28 minus a value? Well, w squared, if this is going to be negative 21, would have to be 49. And so we know w squared could be 49. That makes w equal to 7. 7 is a positive integer. The square root of both sides here yields that. So if I go back up here just to show you that that works out now 21 equals the absolute value of 28 minus 7 squared let's see if this is actually true I'll put a question mark there above the equal sign so I'd have 21 equals 28 minus 49 and I'm guessing you can probably see that that's going to work out, but if not, one more step here. This would be the absolute value of negative 21. So this checks out. 21 does equal the absolute value of negative 21. Therefore, the correct answer for this one should be, ignore that little thing that just popped up there, W equals 7.